Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Inside Tennessee. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Hope it's been a good one for you so far. We're taking a closer look at the Knox County Board of Education race for District 6. That involves Republican Betsy Henderson and Independent Philip Michael Sherman. Uh, we're back. Good morning to both of you. So let's talk a little bit, if you don't mind, about uh, John Ryswick, who is the new superintendent, just sort of got planted into the seat here just a few weeks ago. Uh, Betsy, what did you think about his choice? I think you supported it. And uh, what do you think about his thoughts going forward? Uh, so I am very excited about Dr. Ryswick. He has a great energy. Uh, he has children in the school system, so he understands it from an educator standpoint as well as a parent. And I actually served on the superintendent search committee. I was chosen to be on that three person committee. So I was heavily involved in this process uh, from start to finish. And you know, one of my major things was making sure the community was involved. But Dr. Ryswick has a great vision going forward. Um, all of his priorities and my priorities align. So I've already been very excited to work with him. And I think that he is going to do a great job um, bringing our schools to the next level. And Mr. Sherman, what about you? Yeah, I haven't met Dr. Ryswick personally. So what I can judge is based on what I've seen him make uh, uh, decisions so far. And I have to say that one of the things that I was very pleased with is uh, Knox County Schools is a large, large organization. It spans a lot of territory, has a lot of schools. And so the first move that he made as the new superintendent to rethink the structure and how we're going to provide oversight, I thought was very wise uh, in terms of being able to look at different schools, highlight where there might be special challenges or inequities in place across the district or across uh, the total uh, uh, county uh, and to put leaders in place to focus specifically on that. I thought that was a very wise move on his part and I would look forward to working with him. He's done something also that struck me as interesting and that's to sort of divide the district up in by geography into sort of geographic zones um, and to have people sort of focusing intently on those geographic zones and the schools that are within them. Uh, you all, District 6 is far west I think it's like mm -hmm. Carnes and it's Hardin Valley. It's kind of everything north of, I believe, 40 until you hit the county line. So uh, what do you think about those geographic zones that he's kind of created, zones of emphasis? That's my phrase, not his. Uh, Mr. Sherman? I, I think it's a good way of breaking up a large system and being able to focus more clearly on the unique needs of each area. And I'll just say in District 6, we are Carnes, we're Hardin Valley, we're also Pleasant Ridge and Norwood and Northwest. We're the fastest growing district and we're one of the most diverse districts in terms of the, the kinds of needs that we have. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that gets um, put into operation and how we can maybe be a little more responsive to local community needs from school to school with this new system. And Betsy Anderson, what do you think? I agree. Knox County is a very large school district with lots of different needs. Um, and in District 6, you know, my, the needs that I hear from Hardin Valley are completely different from the needs that I hear from Pleasant Ridge or Norwood parents or faculty. And so I think it is very um, intentional. I think it is a very strategic way to break up the district or the district as a whole. And I'm excited. You know, we are the fastest growing community in Knox County. So that is um, the largest issue I hear for Hardin Valley. Um, and I was very instrumental in um, the new elementary school and the expansion at Hardin Valley Academy. But again, I hear completely different needs from Pleasant Ridge or Norwood and that area. So I think it's a great way um, going forward for our schools. We hear often that that part of the county where you all are, are living and representing is, and you just said it, is fastest growing. And not just in terms of people, but needs for infrastructure and such. Is the school system keeping up? I've got about a minute and I'd like to hear from both of you. Is the school system keeping up? Betsy, if you could tell us real quick on plans for growth. So we are um, opening up a new elementary school next fall. So that will help alleviate some of the issues we're having. And like I said, Hardin Valley Academy is doing a expansion uh, to alleviate those problems. Mm -hmm. But I do think that um, our county commission and school board, and we do, mm -hmm. I work very closely with county commission uh, to make sure that the school is getting what they need. Um, and we just need to be proactive in these issues. You know, we see a record number of people have moved mm -hmm. in the past two years. Okay. And we just need to make sure that we're working together proactive. Mr. Sherman, we got about 15 seconds left. Your thoughts on planning for growth? 
I, I, I would agree. I think uh, it's good to grow. It's great that people want to move here, but we have to have the conversations now about what we want Knox County Schools to look like in 2030. Uh, because mm -hmm. while we are having some expansion in, in Hardin Valley Academy and the elementary school, we know that that growth is not going to stop anytime soon, and so we need to be ready. We appreciate both of you being on Inside Tennessee this morning, and we appreciate you watching. We will see you again next Sunday. Take care.